Well, what can be said? The situation in the temporarily occupied territory of the Kherson region is extremely difficult. Large and terrible HIMARS destroyed almost all large bridges. Antonievsky Railway Bridge, Road Bridge and Novokahovsky Bridge. Only pedestrian bridges remain. The Russian army was cut off from the supply of weapons and personnel from the territory of Crimea. For Ukraine, this is a brilliant chance to return its territories. This message marked the beginning of the offensive operation of the Ukrainian army in the Kherson direction. Kherson, an old Ukrainian city in the south of the country, important port on the Black Sea and Dnipro River, gate to Crimea, about 300,000 of the population, more than half of them fled since the beginning of the invasion. That city has been occupied since the 1st of March. The very first days the residents resisted the occupiers peacefully, stopping the military convoys, protesting against the occupiers on the main squares. But civilians couldn't resist the army for long. Soon the terrorist attacks against pro-Ukrainian citizens began. Murders, kidnapping, tortures. Cutting the city of civilization and making it the hell on earth for civilians. Well, the military resource started suffering the very first days. 3rd of March, Russian air defense system and helicopters were destroyed in the airport of Kherson. 5th of March, one more strike near the city. 7th of March, Chernobyevka village becomes a one-way mem for Russians. 30 helicopters were destroyed. The strikes were regular but not powerful enough. Russians quickly supplemented losses from Crimea. There were still not enough powerful and accurate weapons for counteroffensive. Only Russians can destroy everything and then declare victory. Ukrainians cannot destroy their own cities and kill their own people. This is why every time Russians tried to gather equipment aside from Kherson, the hunt was on. Chernobyevka, the guerrillas, outside military bases, every time Russians tried to ensure their superiority in arms or personnel, collapse happened and everything burned. <laughs> Slowly, the Ukrainian army liberated more than 50 settlements due to the beginning of August. Lately, severe attacks were made on the bridges connecting Kherson to the Crimea forces and Russian military bases. Now, the short message from Ukrainian army officials is simple. Some operation is on. Keep calm. Believe in the army. How did it become possible? United Western military support, disregard of Russian information operations, strong belief in human values and, of course, blood and sweat of Ukrainian warriors. Meanwhile, Russian occupiers are panicking and losing that last human face they had. In Mykolaiv region, they started shelling residential districts and civilian objects to harm as much as they still can. There are already killed and wounded civilians, children are among them. In Kharkiv region, they tried to attack in all directions, despite lack of personal, brain and weapons.